Daddy Doesn't Live Here Anymore, a book about divorce. Now this is a book I can relate to. By Betty Boghold, illustrated by Deborah Borgo. Are you ready? Here we go. Casey slowly walked home, kicking a little stone along the sidewalk. I wonder if mom and dad are still fighting, she thought. No, they'll pretend everything is okay, as if I didn't know better. Dad's car was gone from the garage. Casey sighed. At least no one is fighting now. Inside the house, Casey's mother was vacuuming furiously. Her eyes were red and watery. Mom had been crying again. Tough beans, Casey thought. If mom di didn't fight so much with dad, she wouldn't have to cry. Casey, <sighs> Casey banged her school books down on the hall table and went to her room. She wandered around, not wanting to draw or look at a book or play with Elmer Elephant. She stood in front of her old dollhouse. The doll family leaned stiffly against the staircase. She hadn't played with them in a long, long time. Slowly, Casey picked up the mother and father dolls. Then... She shook them hard. What's the matter with you? She yelled at them. Don't you know that parents are supposed to act nice? She dropped them back into the dollhouse and picked up the girl and boy dolls. Casey smoothed their hair and straightened out their clothes. I'll take care of you, she whispered. Don't be scared. Come to supper, Casey, her mother called. Soup's on. Casey's father didn't come home to supper. He didn't come home after supper either. Casey's mother said softly, Honey, Daddy's not going to come home. He's not going to live here anymore because he and I can't get along. We're getting a divorce. Daddy doesn't live here anymore? Casey shouted. That's mean. Doesn't he love me? He loves you a lot, Casey, her mother said. He and I just don't love each other anymore. But we both still love you, Casey. You are a part of us. Tough beans, Casey yelled. I liked the way we were. I, mean, I liked it the way we were. I don't want to have no daddy. She began to cry. Aww. Poor Casey. Casey, I know how you feel. Trust me, I can relate to your troubles because my parents are divorced too. They divorced when I was about seven or eight. But I've learned to deal with it. And I'm sure you'll learn to deal with it too. Casey's mother put her arms around Casey. Hush, honey, she said. Daddy will always be your daddy. He'll just live in a different place. You'll see him lots of times, but most of the time you live with me. It's like that with me. I see my father every now and again, but most of the time I live with my mother. Casey pulled away from her mother and ran to her room. Casey, th she threw the mother and father dolls down on their faces, but she took the doll children to bed with her and Elmer Elephant. When her mother came in to kiss her goodnight, Casey pulled the covers over her head and wouldn't kiss back. Under the covers, she thought, 
Maybe I made Daddy go away, so I'll have to get him back. I'll think of something. No way, Casey. You didn't make your father go away. That's preposterous. By morning, Casey had thought of something. If I'm sick, Daddy will have to come back. If he loves me. She grabbed the paint box and painted red spots all over her face. She jumped back in bed and called, Mommy, Mommy, I'm sick. Get Daddy right away. Mommy smiled, hugged her, and phoned Daddy. Daddy was there by 10 o'clock. Please stay here, Casey whispered. Oh, Casey, darling. Her, her father held her on his lap and began to wash off the paint spots. Mommy and I just can't live together anymore. You'll come visit me on weekends, vacations, lots of times. You'll feel better later. Wait and see. But Casey didn't feel better later. Her stomach hurt because she missed her daddy so much. Even her house didn't seem right anymore. I felt the same way. Believe me, I did. I felt the same way. I guess mommy and daddy don't love me, Casey thought sadly, or they wouldn't make me feel so bad. Of course they love you, dear. They just don't love each other anymore. That's all. They love you very much. Maybe I'll run away. Then they'll be sorry they were so mean. Then we'll have to be a family again. I wouldn't recommend that. Running away never solved anything. Casey took Elmer Elephant, some coloring paper, her crayons, three chocolate chip cookies, and she ran away. Looks like her dog is joining her. She ran, she ran away across the backyard to the big forsythia bush. It was so old, its branches hung down to the ground. Casey crawled under them and hid. After a while, Elmer Elephant told her he was tired. The cookies were gone, the papers were all colored, and Casey was tired too. Then, Casey's mother pushed aside the branches and sat down beside Elmer. Anyone hungry here? She asked. I've got spaghetti and meatballs in the kitchen. Will Daddy eat with us too? Casey asked. Casey's mother sighed. She said, Casey, dear, you know he won't, but you'll see him this weekend. Casey looked at the ground. Did I do something bad? She asked. Did I make Daddy go away? Casey's mother put her arms around Casey. Never, she said. You are a wonderful girl, Casey, and you didn't do anything at all to make us get a divorce. Remember how we used to fight so much and you hated it? I guess Daddy and I just stopped loving each other. Casey whispered, maybe you'll stop loving me too. Not in a million zillion years, her mother said. Your daddy and I will always love you, Casey. The way we love you is a different love, a part of us love. Casey stood up. It was all too hard to understand. I'm hungry, she said. Let's eat. That night, in her room, Casey put the mother doll in one bedroom and the children in their rooms. Good night. Sleep tight, she whispered to the boy and girl dolls. I'll be right here. She put the father doll on the windowsill. This is your new place, she said, and you better have the kids come over and to visit a lot. I'm telling you. <laughs>
Oh, Casey. Then, Casey climbed into bed with Elmer Elephant. After her mother had said goodnight to them, Casey whispered to Elmer, Daddy says it's going to get better. Mommy says they still love us, so don't be scared, Elmer. She snuggled closer to him and whispered, And I'll never leave you, Elmer. Never, ever. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? The end. If your parents have ever gone through a divorce, it helps to talk about it. Maybe that'll help you feel better. See you later. Bye.